hello guys welcome to my youtube channel games warehouse for you so guys today in this video we'll be going to create we'll be going to create a weapon system so let's start first of all we have to import the weapon so for this purpose what we're going to do is we're gonna select the player uh, and uh, go to this Ethan skeleton hips spine spine one spine two neck head shoulder left arm we got our left hand we don't want our character is right handed so we got a right shoulder right arm and then right hand so right hand I go to assets model rifle m 4 a1 this is a model of weapon I have downloaded from free3d.com so just drag and drop it into the your character's hand and the uh, one thing here we get is that we set it but when our character runs the weapon stay at this position or when a aim is a uh, position changes and uh, the weapon doesn't fit on it so this make the animation look um, unrealistic and bad so to fix it what are we going to do is we gonna animate this weapon with all the animation steps so what I gonna do is uh, I'm just going to control 6 to open up the animation tab uh, select my third person character and in the animator if you can see go to this uh, doll here I just select my window animator yes I have an animator here so here you can see this is the rifle idle animation so what I'm going to do is select this rifle idle animation so I cannot animate this animation because it is read only file so to convert it into a file that we can write on it so for this purpose I just select it and shift D oh sorry control D so by this way I can duplicate it and just drag him to the assets the, this is the asset so this is the animation and uh, what I'm now going to do is instead of this, instead of this rifle idle I just drag and drop this animation and then if you just check it out so it works 100% fine and go to R you can see it's working fine yes it is absolutely fine but the weapon isn't set so go to scene S go to the character eat and hips spine spine one spine two neck right shoulder right arm and then the hand here you can get the weapon S press F or double click on the weapon to go near to this weapon so what I can do is select the rifle idle go to control and 6 and now I can select my player so here you can see the rifle idle isn't read only as other files so rifle idle and now I can animate it so what I gonna do is I gonna select my weapon here uh, just select this uh, where is this? Yeah, here. So, no, no, no. Go to rifle idle and press this record button. And now I am able to record the animation. I will select this my weapon and for a one. Oh, wow. It's not a good thing. Record and for a one. Oh, ho. Rifle Lidl made it. So, what can I animate here? Can't animate this. Just remove this component, which is animated, and then try. So, I think if, if it works, yeah, it works perfectly fine. So, what do you have to do? when you download the model you get this animator controller here so just click on this icon 
and remove the component and now third person character select your animation which is rifle idle and for a1 and no select your player record this button m for a1 and now on the first frame which is 0 set this position so I'm gonna set this position reset or before this reset record m for a1 no man okay set this to this thing here reset this position select the person rifle Sorry, rifle idle. Record it. Select the weapon and now just set its position. So I just select the 90, 90, 9, 180. So I think it should 90 and uh, minus 90. Yeah, uh, here the trigger on the hand uh, like what's happened this is the idle position yeah I forgot <laughs> this n happened forever on good oh. so I just rotate it a little bit like this like position the a finger in the trigger and now just rotate it like this so get a good animation here so then leave it so when you get good animation good thing yeah now it's looking absolutely fine what you're gonna do is copy the component go to the last frame paste component values so by this way check it out now it's working perfectly fine so what you just have to do is in the zero frame set this position in the last frame copy and paste that position so first and last frame of the same and then you can see this working fine so do the same thing duplicate the animations make sure to duplicate and then do the thing so I'll meet you once you done it so I just stop this video to save the time so guys if now uh, this I have set all of the animations and uh, now I'm going to try it and hope it will work perfectly uh, fine so let's check it out so press R now let's grab the gun when I walk it's a matter I didn't know ok when I shoot it's fine and he walks I didn't set this animation ok to, uh, problem in two animations walk rifle aim walk it will be fixed and uh, run ok so okay, fix it so guys now all the animations are perfect and fine so now it's time to write the code for the weapon uh, so let's start but before that we have to make an aim where we shoot where our character will be going to shoot so I think uh, we should make something like this so for this purpose I go back to my default layout so I'm not tuned with this layout so this is why I change it and now what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a UI and a image so double click the specter if it is working fine now so you can see this image is not in the center so I'll just set this position to the center so uh, it looks no man it's not working so I think we should add a button so UI and button where is the button yeah button will work fine so it is on the center so I think what I'm think it will be fine so what I'm trying to do will be done so I go to UI drop down arrow so this is the arrow we're gonna wish where we are going to shoot Posi uh, position leave it so remove this 
something with the name of text. I wrote something like uh, thing green will be uh, will attract more. Oh no, it's not working very well. But I've selected this, and uh, now uh, one thing else is size. Size size should be bigger so we can see it clearly. Sorry. Yeah, now. But now one thing else that our character saw this direction, but the arrows are this direction. So to fix it, I think I should mirror all the anim animations so that it, w it will the arrow will be fixed. So just do it. Go to the animator and the idle everything because our character. Will flip even rifle run rifle rifle rifle. So go to mirror. So now when I go to my play, and uh, I think it will work fine. Now it's press R when I aim. So it aim toward this arrow. Otherwise you can see it when I go to this thing. It doesn't shoot at this directions. It shoot at this direction, which is not a direction. That's a good direction. But you know what? This sh person is not shooting in the right direction. I think we should change the animation. It shoot in front. Uh, this an error because of animation. Not a good animation. So I will just change the animation soon. But I think we should remove this button, so the error is fixed. Okay now, so gonna save everything. Go to this thing. Where, where, script gun. I've already created a script for the gun and the bullet. So I'm gonna make a bullet here. So to create a bullet, just create a capsule. Where's the capsule? It is equal to the size of a person. Scale it down. Way much down. Scale it like this. Down. So rotate it to the 90. So now it is a bullet with a bullet script. A rigid body and uh, the rigid body is perfect. Now, just this is the thing. So, now what we're going to do is go to the prefabs and make oh, first of all, name it bullet and it's now our bullet. So, now just delete it here from here. Nice or good looking bullet. Okay, now, uh I just copy. I will just copy paste the script. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what happened here. Uh, that is, we have a transform position bullet spawn. This is a position from where the bullet will be ejected or something. What you say? It. A rigid body bullet. So this is the bullet. A prefab. Rigid body. Uh, the prefab should have a rigid body. Okay, float speed. So you understand it bullet speed. So what if we press the fire one button? Fire one button is built in in Unity, which means the mouse left click. Okay, rigid body, bullet rigid body. Now this is the real rigid body of the bullet. This is not. This is the real rigid body of the bullet. So it's it is not defined here. It is defined inside the script. So this is a variable. So bullet rigid body is equal to instantiate is used to duplicate the object bullet. What it will instantiate? It will duplicate the bullet. Bullet spawn that position from the position of the spawn where where the transform where is this game object? From there the bullet will be spawned on the position and same as the rotation of this spawn object. 
as rigid body so it will reject it as a rigid body because uh, we have also we also require a rigid body bullet rigid body now is for this bullet object dot add force to add force means pull uh, make the make it to do the you know, uh, add a force on it of bullet spawn dot forward forward force on the rigid body multiply by bullet speed it means the force of the speed we apply we give it here and then we're gonna save the script here we wanna come so what are we going to do is we're going to select our weapon just here and uh, drag and drag this gun script here and the transform for the transform we use game of t object spawn bullet and then in the spawn bullet what we're going to do is uh, we just set this position the front of this gun so it's not the front sorry front is at uh, the front Okay, so what are we going to do? This is just the spawn point of the bullet. So what are we going to do is select our weapon and drag and drop the spawn bullet to the transform and the bullet is this rigid body and now we're gonna go to animation. So you can see it is ejecting the bullet but one thing I want the shells to be drawn also so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spawn bullet we'll go to spawn bullet and then duplicate it And I don't know, but where from where the shells are ejected for of this weapon. So, but now I'm gonna set it to like this. Go to uh, copy component and duplicate it. And in the spawn bullet, just the second one, and it's. zero okay the bullet speed is and the forward instead of forward we use for this second uh, the shell ejector for the sh ejection of s shells of the bullet we're gonna duplicate this script we're gonna create another script go to scripts create a script shell eject so just gonna open it in the mono develop instead of this bullet spawn we say to up so like this save it shell eject so here what we're gonna do is go to the weapon remove this script oh man it's taking some time here to compile the script, so I'll remove it. We're gonna say shell. Oh, it's not she, it's like shield, it's not shell, <laughs> sorry. But uh, now it's gonna be changed. So, so, second transform. The rigid body prefab is same as this. And it's to one. And then, what we're going to do is set the second one spawning position from at the position where the shells are ejected from where the shells are ejected I don't know from where the shells are ejected but just to tell you that this is the way so this is only this one I just doing okay the spawn bullet and the spawn bullet one and here is for the ejection of shells and then here so you can see 
R and then when I just do this just uh, it's like two shells just up the shell one is uh, working good but here we didn't add a force we say 500 so is it ejecting the force of 500 at the back side so we don't want it to be at the back so what I gonna do is you gonna rotate this position to 90 degree on yeah on z axis to so 180 degree and then we'll see still on the same side man so I just try again so where's the bullet going oh we can see it 110 we can see it now. It is in front. So where it I just remove this. So it is going down. So fix it. 180. I think yeah now it's working perfect. And this I go to this M41 and the shell. So now the shells are going uh, are what are we gonna say it shells are ejecting too also and this the bullets are also but they are not rotated so and I'm I am have, uh, having this error I will just fix it and uh, tell you but one thing the bullet is not destroying or disappearing because it's making clones and it will take all the memory and uh, the game will not gonna work after a thousand or more than thousand fires it will hang the computer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy these game objects so for this uh, I can tell you what we have to do but before all of this spawn object copy component and the paste component values okay now what I have we, have we have to do is we go to the bullet pref oh sorry scripts bullet script which is added to the bullet and what we'll do is we gonna say for the shell we will add another bullet script but now we're gonna use it so what we're gonna do is destroy game object after 10 seconds okay and the other void on collision enter what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy game small g game object without any delay so when it collides with something it will just get destroyed and in the update after 10 frames it will destroy but well, after it's getting ejected this is a simple script for this and then you will see it that we're not gonna make that clones more than uh, the clones will be destroyed after 10 seconds if they didn't collide with anything or if they collide they will destroy instantly you can see it here so we go to this weapon I'm for a one 500 so you can see is there the clones of the bullet are destroying immediately you can see clones are creating 
as you can see one thing else that it is not I have to press again and again the button to instantiate this objects so I will fix it in the next tutorial because this tutorial is gonna be very lengthy so so guys for now this video ends here and uh, for the next tutorial we're gonna one thing else then we're gonna idle the weapon still in our hands so we'll disappear it and when we press the R button that weapon appears and we're gonna animate and we'll change these animations uh, and uh, we're gonna create a real character so guys for now this video ends here so guys, goodbye.